Karen Childs. I'm a cat lady creator in Miami and today, oh sorry, welcome to my channel. And today I would like to talk about Carambola, commonly known as Starfruit. And apparently has a lot more advantages than I was aware of. And I would just like to say, like I don't know really why I'm talking about Starfruit because I think they're ridiculously priced. For example, one smaller than this right now, is $4.99 plus tax in Whole Foods, which I just think for a watery vegetable. Okay, it's got healing properties. But I guess you'd have to eat a few. Oh, it's kind of expensive when people are starving on the streets. However, it is good to know the healing properties. And here in Miami, at least, and I'm sure in lots of other countries in the world, that you can get this fruit freely. It just like lies on the ground. There are trees with copious um, half okay I don't know how much I can get done because I've got a cat in my lap and one here this is whitey and this is quipper which means crow in Spanish hello I'm back again after doing more cleaning of the storage guess what we're talking about carambola star food and every time I do these videos I'm you know when I have the storage issues when I get back, I'm tempted to say, hello, hello, I'm back again. But you may, <coughs> or may not know. What is this song that Gary Glitter did, you know, years and years ago, and he's since become a really disgusting, oh, beautiful, who, as far as I know, still walks freely in Thailand and wherever. Anyway, but back in the day, he was a big superstar. So I have refrained from saying it, but I'm just going to... I'm coming, I'm coming. Anyway, so I was talking about being a, in a uh, foreigner in a strange country. But even um, the native people there, I don't think a lot of native people enjoy the fruits of their land. And it was the same in my country. Like England, Irish fruits. Like so many things that we just don't know how to harness and enjoy. For example, I enjoy going to Japanese restaurants and sushi, sashimi, outdoor and I love nettles that are used, you know, as um, a decoration and they're actually really tasty and, and you know, I think that's one of the things that we should be taught in schools, how to eat the local produce, particularly because it's not bastardized by government, etc. Okay, back to the point. I am now going to cut some stuff. Oh, I wanted to mention one more thing about stuff. As well as being delightful, highly nutritious, and good for your health, you can do different things with it. And I don't actually know many things, but I do know that I love to eat foods that are very generally strong tasting, like brine and chili and everything. So, a lot of times, like, I'll eat dill pickles, or um, I want to mention a particular occasion. About a month or so ago, I love. Cal I think it's called Calendars. That's the brand. They have um, pickled onions, red onions. Oh my god, in vinegar. And it's something that's Thai Asian uh, vegetables in ban mia or something is called. Yeah, but they also do fantastic kimchi and um, sauerkraut, which seems healthy the most. So we'll have one day where it's put the, like this little part of the red onions, you know, in the, I think it's brine or pickle vinegar. I'm not sure the And this other thing, the banh or whatever, Asian, Asian vegetables, and particularly the onions. Oh my God, I wolf that in one go. Then I ate half of the Asian stuff, the Asian pickled stuff, vegetables. And then, you know, because I love brine, and even before I knew it was healthy for you, I just used to love drinking it, and I thought it was probably weird. But then I learned that chefs use that brine, that brine, uh, brine and um, it can be very healthy for you. And then one day, like I hated throwing out the the vinegar, particularly from the the onion stuff, because it was so gorgeous. So one day I put star fruit in it, and like I slid them up on the side, and I put them in and I put them like overnight or something. And then when I came back to them, they were delicious. They had all this brine, this health giving, well, health supporting brine. 
star fruit to go for you. But it's interesting, like the star fruit had, um, I'm thinking diminished, but that's not the way it's shrunk. That is the popular word, shrunk. The star fruit had shrunk and they were delicious because they had their briny flavor, vinegary flavor. So that's what you can do. Um, one thing you can do. Okay. Okay, here's some gorgeous um, star fruit cut up. And see how exquisite they look? Okay, there's a cat around there. Curious, but they've definitely not got any star fruit. Look at that. It's somewhat green. And like I said before, I like them in the middle. This is too green for me to eat, although I will try it. It'd be better in brine if I put it in like pickled vinegar or brine or something. It'd be great. And this one at the back, even though it's still kind of green, look at that. There's bugs in there. I'll just put it there to say this is the original carambola. But look how beautiful they are. Exquisite. I mean, honestly, I will make another video that's going to tell you all the nutrients and health giving or um, healing properties of this beautiful fruit. But I mean, even if you're not going to eat these, which of course you should. How exquisitely beautiful is that? Another fabulous gift from God. Ciao. Oh, please like, subscribe, comment to my YouTube channel. It would be so terribly youthful. I mean, uh, useful. <laughs> and talking about youthful. I'm sure this stuff is very good for regeneration. All right. Take care. Bye.